guys, how you going? Here we are at Ladies Wolf. Been out exploring with the boys today. Went for a swim down the river. Only oh, took you two bloody years to get here, mate. I did promise you guys that's how long it would take. Unfortunately, we didn't take Brenton with him. He went for a nap today. <laughs> Loves a nap. Loves a nap. Other than that, been telling him all week I've been going to cook him up a feast. Sorry, we should get to it. Right, yeah, here we are. Ready to cook the lamb shanks. Yeah, go for it. So pretty much we've got the lamb shanks here. Enough to cover for the boys. A couple of spring onions. A few other little bits and pieces and throw them all together. Get you to cut up all the stuff for me while we're at it. Sweet. Thanks. Okay, so we're just going to turn the gas oven on. Get the heat into it. Spray it all over. Pretty much first up we're going to be frying the lamb shanks. You can even get it open. Sorry for the delay. Good help, hard to find. Just getting the frying pan nice and hot. Getting a nice surface on all of the shanks. Really helps seal in the flavor. Literally swears on the camera. So this one. <laughs> We'll get them all eventually. Can you give me the baby? Baby, yeah. Uh, nearly lost that one. Now you really want to get a nice, a nice coating on all of these. Certainly would. While I'm browning off the meat, get ready to cut up some onions. And some of the other ingredients. The first time cooker for him. Teach the young ones sometimes, a couple of things here and there. Oh, you know. Really struggling there. So basically while he's doing that, as like I said before, just getting a nice service on all of these shanks. Really want to get a good flavour to seal inside them. Right, while he struggles through that process, I'm going to turn the temperature down so these don't burn. Pretty much all the surfaces are nearly coated now. Now I've done this, I'll probably start chucking in some of the other ingredients. As always, keep the garlic. You never go wrong with garlic. Put as much as that in you want. Comes down each person. Bang. Pretty much is. Stir that in a little bit. First time cutting onions. Tearing up a little bit. Right. Add in some diced tomatoes. Really want a lot of liquid in there. Gives the shank something to boil in. Check again. Now that it's really starting to bring it up. Just pretty much making the sauce for them. Chuck all the onions in there. Oh, yum, 
making the cake, just chucking them in. I might be all done. Also like to throw in some bacon. If you can get to it. When you're cooking these sort of recipes, normally go with a red wine. Short on red wine today, so uh, we'll be going with uh, some bourbon. Adding a little bit more of this in. Should be adding some stock in. So I'm adding a little bit more juices, basically. So I forgot to buy the stock. Probably gonna need to add some more to this too. But basically, it's all starting to come together nicely. No, it's great. I'm gonna chuck the bacon in. Now you can get anything you want. Sometimes I like to get the garlic added ones. Adds that little bit extra flavor. Same thing. Add in as much as you want. I like to think it's a good couple of shakes. Great, you grab some water. I didn't have any stock, so that's gonna make it do. Here we go. Right, yeah, that'll do. Adding in some spices. Like the pink Himalayan sauce. It all seems to be stuck. I need to give it a bit of a shake. Garlic salt. Plenty of that. Everyone loves garlic. Look that. And then the last ingredients, pretty much sausages. We're going to cut those up. Oh. Maybe cut up three wieners. <laughs> so I bring the temperature up a little bit now. Bring it to a to a simmer. Plenty of food in here, so we should be able to feed everybody quite well. Alright, yeah, so that's pretty much all the ingredients. Make sure it's all stirred in well. Once we've done that, pretty much take the fire and let it cook away for a while. We've got some vegetables to go with that. The wrench was nice, nice enough to put them up for us earlier. So basically, we just needed to get this ready, and once that's ready, we'll put them on both together and see how we go.